1425, Irish chieftains built Bunratty Castle to defend the River Shannon, and the castle still stands proud today. I've taken Bunratty's blueprints and brought them into Valheim to defend me from the scorched ashlands and the dark creatures that dwell here. Follow me as I built this mighty castle from the ground up and make me worthy of Valhalla. So the first thing that needs to be done in order to build a beautiful castle is to find the right place. So I found this lovely land bridge between two large Ashland continents and as you can see over there I've flattened out a bit and I'm continuing to do so right here because that's the first thing you need to do. Keep everything nice and flat before you build especially with a castle where stability is extremely important. So now I'm just cutting stuff out with my pickaxe, making it nice and flat. Once everything's flat, it's time for the outline of your building. Always do this before you start building. Make sure everything is on the same level. I know it doesn't look like much yet, but it will. At this stage, I started building, and as you can see, I'm using crenulations, just like the last castle I built. Always use crenulations because they help with stability. So let's speed this up a little and get this first tower done. So while I get to work, I actually just want to quickly show you a reference picture for the castle. These are the archways I want to try and emulate. First quarter of this tower done. Let's keep going. We've got lots to do. And don't worry, I'm not going to show me crenulating this entire structure. I just want to give you guys a good indication of how to do the first tower and then you have a great idea of what to do for the rest of the structure yourself. So I'm just gonna crenulate this whole structure. I think this took me a couple hours but this is the hardest part and look this is it about halfway done. Well done us. I'll see you in the morning. In the morning, I managed to get the towers pretty much finished. To do this, I needed to fill the entire structure with iron bars pretty much every six blocks up and horizontally pretty much everywhere. This was not a cheap build. With the towers complete, I was able to put in some doors and open up the towers and also build floors and a staircase going up. Now, I need to add that this staircase does change a little, but this is the general structure, especially on this floor it changed. But yeah, it's looking more like a castle now that can actually be lived in. And up here is a fully functioning tower. I've managed to make the final bit out of stone so that the entire tower is sheltered, and it just starts really coming together now. At this stage I also put in the archways at the top of the castle. Those are three blocks thick so it took a lot of iron bars and a lot of time. It was very finickety. Stabilization was not my friend. But some windows and some furniture later and we had ourselves a castle. Here it is and I'll shut up for a minute. Okay, I have to say something. Look at this castle. Look at it. It's beautiful. The inside and out. I'll shut up again. This is what feng shui is, okay? Oh, sorry. Uh, quiet. So here it is, the Irish castle, based off of Bunrati in the Ashlands. It's actually huge. 
and I pretty much built it as big as it could get and I'll show you up top what the stability is like. But here's the entrance. Let me give you a little bit of a tour. This is the ground floor and everything has a purpose. Little mead hall and some crafting in there. A little bit of cooking in there. Some chests for storage and again fermentation and all of these towers are functional the stairs go up right up to the top and there's also a main staircase and of course our kitchen let me bring you up to the second floor this is the beautiful crafting level but of course, there's a little bit more of a party going on here. Party goes the whole way throughout the castle. Got our forge and our workbench. We've got cold forge in here for all the deep north gear. We've got the heavy metal crafting station. We have Thor's forge in here with Jotun's head. And I defeated him in a previous episode. Go check that out if you haven't seen it. And of course, we have this for mapping and cartography. And I just decorated the place with some beautiful trophies. Of course, the serpent trophy looking cool. And I don't know if you can see behind, but there's a little bit of a blue hue behind the serpent. And you can guess what I used for that. Let's go up to the next level. Staircase gets a little bit tight, but that's okay. And here is my bedroom. It's quite nice. Got lots of armor stands going through the different parts of my Valheim experience. And of course, my treasure, which is kept behind lock and key. have a little hot tub in there have a spare bed in there and some extra storage in here and let me take you up to the battlements so each of these towers are functional so I can look up on top and shoot down on on enemies I wanted to make sure that they were functional and what's cool about these battlements is that I have all my crafting up here. So I have furnaces built in. I have a beautiful bonfire to keep everything lit. Charcoal kiln and windmills. And this is a fully functional battlements. I've gone into free fly for a sec just so you can see the beautiful archway. And this was actually one of the hardest parts of the castle. Um, you can see that there are lots of iron beams involved. And actually, the iron beams are up every single level. They're just more hidden further in. Like, you can see there's a beam there and there. And there's beams the whole way uh, through this top arch because stability was a huge issue. If I was to do it again, I would actually fill that whole front section with stone and then just remove three quarters and leave the arch like so and add arches at the end rather than doing the arch at the very end of the build. But this has been my beautiful Irish castle build. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and please leave a like if you enjoyed and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. This is actually part of a Let's Play series that I'm doing with mods and I'm currently, as you can see, in the modded Ashlands. And there's lots of stuff to do here and this is the final tier. So I'll see you next time, Celtic Explorers.